All right, we are doing problem number 30 from chapter three. Problem number 30 is asking us, how does a price floor set above the equilibrium level affect quantity demanded and quantity supplied? So let's draw a price floor. Let me, let me draw this. Price floor, supply, demand, uh, quantity, price. Price floor, since it's saying above, right? Yeah, set above the equilibrium level. Here's our equilibrium level. There's our floor. How does it affect quantity demanded and quantity supplied? Well, here's a new quantity demanded. Here's a new quantity supplied. This is our original quantity demanded and quantity supplied, this original equilibrium. So quantity demanded has fallen. Quantity demanded is lower. You see it went from this equilibrium to this equilibrium. Now quantity supplied has gone up. Went from this equilibrium to this equilibrium. And logically this makes sense because if you think about what a price floor is, which is saying um, you cannot charge less than this amount. And let's say it's put on apples and apples normally sell for $2. And the government comes in and says, you can't sell apples for anything less than $3 each. Well, fewer people are going to demand apples. So quantity demand is going to fall since they're relatively more expensive now. On the other hand, more people are going to want to sell apples. More people are going to want to supply apples because they're more, they're worth more money now. They're more profitable. Um, so this quantity supplied is going to go up.